Good morning, good morning, or afternoon, or whenever you're seeing this. BigSquareRoadRoad.com coming to you from the park today. Um, been a crazy few weeks here on the road to Ruta. It, it's always interesting when things start going your way as far as markets and the things you've been studying and predicting for so long and, you know, being in silver for 20 years, you look for where can they get us? <laughs> the paranoia comes out. Okay, silver's gone up. Why did they allow it to go up? Are they going to continue to allow it to go up? Will they pull the plug? Um, will they, they usually set it up before they pull the plug, and there's no setup right now. So the, the position, positioning of the commercials and the mainly the media isn't really pumping it yet. Like they did in 2011, right before the crash, they were pumping it. Just like they did with Bitcoin before the 2017 crash. The media was really pumping it. And that's not going on right now with silver. Um, so keep an eye out for that because that's usually part of a bigger plan. As we know, in 2017, it was Trump and uh, Christian Carlo, the head of the CFTC, and Steve Mnuchin, the computer market rigger from Goldman Sachs, as well as other people who decided to pop the Bitcoin bubble, and they admitted it. They admitted it in a, uh, Christian Carlo admitted that uh, that's what they did. Uh, here's the quote, otherwise it would have just kept going up. Well, there's a reality there that uh, if an undervalued asset is not traded freely and it's let loose so that uh, there's a willing buyer and a willing seller, yes, it will tend to, in a free market, it should go to its true fair market value. Well, that wasn't allowable on, in the Trump administration with Ch Christian Carlo or um, Steve Mnuchin because they have to control the rest of the system too. And so they decided to take down uh, cryptos. They've held, we've seen it for so long in gold and silver, literally over 100 years. Um, the manipulation of gold and silver, the, the price suppression, is required in an unbacked fiat monetary system. And I've, I've proven that 100 times how they do it. The computer programs that were written by Alan Greenspan back in the early late 60s, early 70s, yes, he blames himself for Y2K, and most people still don't really understand the power this one human being had by inventing computer banking, inventing the original market rigging programs that literally are still in use today, although they're more sophisticated, and the, uh, the criminal cabal of exchanges, the CME and ICE especially, the Intercontinental Exchange, have allowed the rigging to go on literally in their back room before the trades happen. So companies like Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan have computer systems, computer uh, hardware and software right at the exchange so that as you put your trade in, they get to decide whether or not uh, they're going to front run it or uh, reject it or anything they want to do. And that's, um, that's completely admitted. That's the amazing thing. They admit 100% manipulation, um, but that's the world we live in. So, yes, I am very happy that silver is going up and cryptos are starting to see a little life. I am always cautious and ready to hodl at any point in time until the cryptos and until silver hits its true fair market value. A true fair market value for silver would be a freely traded silver market. There is no exchange on planet Earth right now that has a freely traded silver market, meaning physical silver for cash or crypto. <laughs> truthfully but no I, I mean the comics is where prices is, is discovered and that's a futures and options um, platform you can tell by the volumes obviously they trade what was it uh, Friday they had a billion ounces Thursday they had 1.25 billion ounces and everybody's all oh my god did you see the deliveries for the month 75 million ounces were delivered well that didn't set the price the delivery does not set the price of silver what sets the price of silver is the computer rigging, the high frequency trading that trades a billion ounces a day. Obviously, a billion ounces has more sway over the 75 million for the whole month that was delivered in physical silver on the comics. Don't get me wrong, I'm very happy about that. 
It, it does put strain on the banking cabal, but at the same time, it does not do anything to price. Price is determined on a fictional basis based on the volume of the exchange trading back and forth, high frequency trades. Uh, spoofing is, is what uh, ultimately six JP Morgan traders will be charged with because they can't take down JP Morgan. Those who want JP Morgan to take, be taken down, you're missing the whole point. They have 60 trillion in derivatives as the most systemically dangerous bank in the world. You take down JP Morgan, you take down everything. And they don't want to be responsible for that, for that kind of damage that would be incurred on our monetary system. Everything is in like everything. Your retirement account, your savings account, your checking account, everything would go if JP Morgan goes. So careful what you ask for when you want to take down JP Morgan. Having said that, I believe, and I've believed for a long time, and the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston believe that we do need a creative destruction event to get rid of the criminality, to get rid of the, the quicksound foundation that we built this system on. We built this system on lying, cheating, and stealing in the United States of America. They didn't tell you that, which is even worse. If they told you, yeah, you know, we'll be the greatest country in the world if we just lie, cheat, and steal and uh, start wars when we need to, overthrow leaders when we need to. If they told us that, then we could have buy-in by the people or rejection by the people. The problem is they didn't tell us that. Um, read John Perkins' book, Confessions of an Economic Hitman, and the few books he published after that, and you'll get the idea that, that America, that I love, um, was taken over. It's not run by the people anymore. It hasn't been for decades. What do we do about that? We keep fighting. We fight the good fight. As I've always said, we fight the good fight. Um, I do think Trump is working with the good guys. Uh, interesting thing on coronavirus, there, a Newsweek article with a the leading um, virologist saying hydroxychloroquine is the huge solution to the coronavirus problem when administered in the very beginning. And no, it's not dangerous like the media will tell you. They've been using it for decades. I think it's over 100 years. It's a hell of a long time. They've been using hydroxychloroquine with no adverse effects. Millions of doses have gone out before coronavirus. And where is it? that you know? Why aren't they these media outlets and, and people like uh, Cuomo of New York, why aren't they going to jail? Cuomo told elderly people to stay in their in their nursing homes and, and, and stuck people with coronavirus in there. I mean, why don't they prosecute that guy? The, the solution is twofold. One, build up your body's defenses. Vitamin C, vitamin D, chaga. Everything you're supposed to take. Zinc. And number two, if you get it, take hydroxychloroquine with, uh, I think it's with zinc and this other drug. And it cures. That's the cure. And Newsweek even had an article, it was this week, I think it was Newsweek, this weekend, with a, one of the renowned virologists saying, hey, I have no idea what's going on, but every single doctor who's not speaking up and saying something about this is assisting in the murder the murder of people by not telling them, hey, here's the truth. Hydroxychloroquine is not dangerous at all. And it does, if given, administered early on, I think it's 90% to 95% cure. But what do you hear in the media? Oh, because Trump said hydroxychloroquine. I mean, it was obvious from the beginning. But because Trump said it, the deep state and the media got on the bandwagon of not allowing people to talk about it. They probably won't even allow this video to be published. That's murder in my book. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know how I got on that subject. From silver to murder. Um, I've been doing a lot of spiritual work lately. Amazing stuff working with... <laughs> I had a reading with the woo-woo dude. Woo-woo dude is awesome. He's really funny and he's really connected. And uh, also Michelle White Dove, hats off to all her work. Um, I've been doing some work on uh, the Theta G pool. You know, I, I had said no pools, nobody get in pools at all. And I heard they were all pissed off that I said that, so I did more research into it. 
Um, yeah, if you if you have 10,000 theta, which is what you would take to stake on your own, um, I have no problem. As a matter of fact, I did it. I joined a G pool uh, just to see how it worked, and then I withdrew it just to see how it worked. And you don't give them your private keys. You do it all your all on your own. It's it's called uh, I think it's called a delegate. You delegate. You don't stake on that one. You delegate. And then you're just all you're doing is using their um, guardian node summary as your deposit to stake. And then when you pull it off, you do it right on your own wallet and it comes right back to you. So they're really not even involved other than running the node. And it's a single node. Um, you can run it off your laptop at home if you wanted to as well. Um, but I, I listened to a couple of interviews with the guys involved and I'm like, yeah, they, they, they sound like they're doing the right thing. I, so I 100% support the G pool, um, the delegated uh, node and you need 10,000 and you do it yourself basically. It's just that you, so you don't have to run the node. And the nodes, like I said, it's it's easy. They've got like, uh, I think seven, seven or nine um, backups all around the world, supposedly. And the backup, I mean, you could do it on a laptop. So it's not a lot of money, but I also am contributing 10 bucks a month to their Patreon to help support the cause. Because um, they also help run the uh, the Guardian monitor thing that uh, monitors all the, the Theta uh, info, which is amazing. So two thumbs up for G Pool. Um, although I still will always have reservations about um, not controlling your stake, which is if you have less than 10,000. Now that's, that's just the way I am. I'm always going to tell you where the risks are. I'm not convinced that, that you'll get that back if we have a banking collapse and that kind of drama hits the world. Um, I just don't know. So definitely two thumbs up for if you're looking to um, start a Guardian node, you don't want to do it on your own computer because, you know, it's, it's going to go down and you don't really know how to do it. Um, things like that. It's, it's pretty easy, but they are doing a good job with that. I forgot how many, I think 14 million Theta have been staked to the G-Pool, something like that. They're the largest on the uh, Guardian nodes. And bravo, bravo to those guys. So there's, you know, hopefully that clears things up. Um, definitely the delegated uh, staking on that uh, G-Pool is good. So if you guys are looking to, you want to mine some Theta fuel, there's a few ways to do it. You can get a uh, edge node, edge catcher node, um, and you don't even need Theta. You could just run that on your computer. You don't earn that much um, Theta fuel, but it, that's that's part of the system. And you'll be sharing your bandwidth, and you'll be getting paid um, Theta fuel. Oh, by the way, in case you guys haven't been listening to my rants about Theta over the past two months, Theta is 100% the future of the internet, the future of live streaming, the future of a lot of different things, probably the future of smart contracts, along with Ethereum. Um, but it's amazing technology. And if you're into cryptos and you don't have Theta, you're missing out on a monster. Yes, it was Michelle White Dove that brought many of the Road to Ruta people it to our awareness out of the blue she said yeah there's this thing called Theta and then we did our research on it and you know one of the best things about Theta it is a cent fairly centralized um, not necessarily the blockchain I don't think it's centralized anymore but the the company that is developing it building up all these partnerships with Google and Samsung um, and Binance Although I'm not a fan of Binance. Who knows? Binance has a hell of a lot of Theta and a hell of a lot of Theta fuel. Um, just keep that in mind because they're, they're probably the biggest rigging arm in cryptocurrencies is the Binance exchange. So just keep that in mind. I, I think that's why Theta fuel went on that roll up like, I don't know, 300, 400% um, <laughs> because Binance has the ability to do that. So just be careful there. Um, but yes. You absolutely, if you ha hold Bitcoin or Litecoin or Bitcoin Cash or Ethereum or any other crypto, you should have a healthy portion of Theta. And then if you have over 10,000 Theta, which is like 2,500 bucks right now, you can start a, um, a Guardian node by using G-Pool. 
gpool, I think it's gpool.io. Um, just, just type in, uh, do a Google search for gpool theta. Make sure you get the right one. <laughs> and it's easy. In a matter of minutes, you can be mining for uh, theta fuel. And I do think theta fuel will go over a buck. I don't know how high it will go. Right now, it's less than a penny. So that's 100x. Um, and I, I think it'll go over a buck within the next year. And then be probably between 5 and 10 to 1 when the actual use case comes into play, which is um, companies like YouTube and Netflix buying uh, CDN uh, bandwidth. Uh, was it uh, Centralized Distributed Network? Computer Distributed Network. Content, that's it. Content Distributed Network, CDN. Um, and that on Theta, it's a lot easier and a lot cheaper, and it solves the big 5G problem. Um, which is coverage. So definitely get your Theta. Um, it is my number one holding now in cryptos, by far. And I, I absolutely, I've done all the homework on it and I have full faith and confidence that it's decentralized enough, that it's a sound, solid blockchain, and that the, the future um, use case of Theta will be necessary in the sci-fi world that Cliff High has us going into. Absolutely necessary. So there you go. There's your there's my take on Theta and definitely G Pool. If you if you don't want to run run your computer 24/7, um, they'll do it for you. Uh, I but I would highly suggest doing the the 10,000 Theta, um, which is 2,500 bucks. All right. That's all I got for you coming from the park. Uh, I'm going to continue my little walk and then head home and post this. And then we start again tomorrow morning. Another crazy week of watching silver get traded. Millions of transactions per second. But uh, nothing ever changes with the criminal bad guys. So always be ready to hodl. Hodl your silver. Hodl your cryptos. Because they can slam the price at any moment. If we do have a banking collapse, which I think we will have... Uh, both those exchanges, all the exchanges will shut down, so you won't even know what your silver's worth. That's why it's so important to have it in your own possession. No ETFs, no SLV, no mining shares. It's all third-party risks that you do not want to have at this time. I hope that makes sense. Big Square, RoadToRoad.com. I'll talk to you guys later.